Today, I'm out and about talking to candidates about how they campaign under STV. I'm in a windy and windswept Kilmarnock to speak to Councillor John Hurd from the Conservative Party. He asked to meet us here in Rugby Park, the home of Kilmarnock FC. My name's John Hurd. I'm a Conservative councillor for uh, Ward 4 in Kilmarnock. That's Kilmarnock East and Hurlford. We're standing uh, one candidate in every ward in East Ayrshire. That's the first time we've done that. That includes Kilmarnock South, which takes in Belfield, Rickerton and Short Leeds. We've never stood a candidate there before. Uh, the support he is getting is fantastic. I hope it translates into votes. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we, we, we'll see how, how that goes. We are more candidates than we knew what to do with, in fact. Um, and we had the luxury of being able to interview candidates and to turn candidates down that we thought weren't suitable and take the best of those who had applied. Uh, that's amazing. You know, something is changing, uh, f f in my eyes, uh, for the better. Uh, there are, I suppose, areas in, on my ward and in every ward that traditionally you might think do not vote Conservative. I've been in those areas, I have been chapping doors, and I can tell you, this time and last time, I have met nothing but kindness and decency and honest folk. They might disagree with my politics, but I've met nothing but uh, uh, decent people in these areas where you might say, or somebody unkind might say, Conservatives fear to tread. Well, not this Conservative, and I've, I've had a great reception. They may not vote for me, that's OK. So my name's Elaine Stewart. Um, I'm a Labour Party candidate for Ward 9. I've worked within communities for the last 37 years and most recently took up a post with the Coalfield Regeneration Trust. In evenings, I work for the Zone Initiative. In 2003, when I just chapped the door and asked for, for, for the Labour vote because it was first past the post, but now I find myself um, chapping the door and if it's a person that I know and I know that they're a, an SNP voter or a Tory voter, I'll say um, any chance I could get your second vote because second vote counts. So I, I, it doesn't bother me to ask for um, a second vote. I prefer if they gave me the first. However, a second or a third vote, is, a vote's a vote. I'm still in Kilmarnock. It's still raining, it's still windswept. We moved from Rugby Park. We're here in Centre Stage, an arts academy in Kilmarnock. I'm here to talk to Dougie Reid, the leader of the council. Hi, I am Douglas Reid. I'm leader of East Yorkshire Council. Uh, I'm also the ward member for Kilmarnock Central West and Chris House. Campaign is simple. It's chapping your doors, getting your vote, it's simple. But I think you've got to look at the subtle nuances uh, that, that are out there in terms of, you know, who else is standing. You know, we see uh, the influence of the constitutional question, the way the votes are divvied up. You, you know, you've got the, the yes voters and the no voters still from the, re the, the Scottish referendum. And you see Labour and Conservative votes uh, stick a wee bit closer than they, they did uh, people will put maybe Conservative win Labour too uh, in their, their ballot paper, but it's, it is it is more complicated than that because we do know that thirty to forty percent uh, Labour voters uh, want uh, want independence. I think as we saw in the the, the first uh, uh, proportional SDV elections, uh, Labour's not that was the first time Labour lost power and they were absolutely shocked by it, but. Uh, they really didn't do their, their their homework, and I think they would probably acknowledge that. I mean, we'd three they'd three candidates up in a three member ward, and they just didn't understand the simple mathematics. They weren't going to get three members, you know. And uh, I think that was a valuable lesson that was learned by the Labour Party at that time. I'm Billy Crawford. Proper name William. I represent Ward Eight which is the communities of Cumnock, New Cumnock, Ohotry. Ah, uh, you'll get folk that will vote for you personally. They might be Tory, might be something else, but they'll vote for you because you're local. Because you come from where you are. And that, that came out clear at the first, the first vote. I gave you my vote, Billy, because it's no waste it. Well, the Labour Party have given me 70% uh, for vote June Kyle one, vote Billy two, and in the other areas it's vote Billy one and myself two. But we'll probably find in common is Billy's the standing candidate, a standing councillor. He'll get the number one vote. The people know him. And I'll probably get the number two. <laughs> but we're trying to 
impressing people that if I don't get enough number ones, I won't get through to the next round. I think it is fair because it is consistent and applies across the board to everybody. Nobody is advantaged or disadvantaged by this system. Fairer, with nothing to compare it with, then that's a difficult, difficult one to call. I suppose I have to be honest with you and say when I get put out with six votes, I wasn't a fan then. <laughs> However, that was, what, 15 years ago? And things change, people change, life changes. And I think probably it has been the best move. It's been the best move for everybody because at least if you put your vote, um, if you put your X or your one or your two or your three on that paper, then you are going to be represented, represented by the party that you've chose. It's got to be open and transparent for, for, for the whole of our communities. We, can, we can't have that closed door, just um, one party, one place. Um, we have got to move on. And yes, it will be hard, but I've been through it. I'm here again. So it, it didn't stop me. Um, it made me think more about how working together would be the better, um, the better way forward. A long day but an interesting one. I think what's really come over that stays in my mind is that they really do have to speak to as many people as possible, and that's great for democracy. If you want to know more about campaigning under STV, please do get in touch.